and welcome back to the Rugby Connection podcast for the fans, by the fans. Happy New Year, for a start. Lads, we're all here this week. Happy New Year. Hope you've all had a good Christmas. How are you getting on? It was all right. Uh... Just all right. You <laughs> <laughs> instantly died when Cameron was all right, yeah. Harv, can you do better than it was all right? Um, it was more than all right. Um, I, um, yeah. I know it's quite an enjoyable Christmas, spent it with the family. Um, you know, I was obviously in hospital, so it was kind of nice to get some social interaction. Um, then we went to Dublin for New Year, um, went to see uh, the mighty Connacht play Leinster, um, who were a bit more mighty um, on the occasion. But, yeah. you know, it was it, it was still a good year. It was still a good New Year's uh, full of drink and full of crack. Uh, we got to see our, our favourite Irishman, Shawnee. Um, sorry, Kyle. Um, so, yeah. Uh, happy New Year to everyone. I'm definitely having a happy New Year. I mean, no, definitely a happy New Year. Did you, um, manage to, did you manage to bag any free tickets off a rival team? Because I did. Yeah, you dodgy bugger. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? Do you not know this? No. Right, so, Edinburgh, Glasgow, we played each other twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, so, you told me I was, I was probably a bit too drunk to realise. Friend of the show. What happened with that, Murray? What happened? I got beat. That's fine. Oh, oh, that's fine. For the first, I can't be bored going re- reminiscent, so we're just going to focus. Anyway, yeah, it, it, he's holding the tears back. It's you know, uh, the painful memories. <laughs> friend of the show, Sione Vaiwanu, offered me a ticket to the Glasgow Edinburgh game, even though he knew I'm an Edinburgh fan, and I got to sit in the Glasgow end with all the girlfriends and wives and the mums and all that. It was very weird, and but it was good, and yeah, good fun. But we're going to talk about rugby in 2023. Shall we start with the Premiership? Because I feel like we've not really talked about that in a while. So it's, it's been Friday, a while, night, it? Friday night, we had an absolute barnstormer with Gloucester against Saracens, with Saracens edging at 19 points to 16. Newcastle running rough shot at Kingston Park against Leicester Tigers, 45-26. My beloved XR Chiefs back on track, 35-12 over Northampton Saints. Sorry, Harv, but Quinns couldn't beat the Sharks, 24-16 at the Stook. Nah, and it didn't, didn't happen if you didn't watch it. It's, it's, it's not a real result. That, fair enough. And lastly, London Irish just absolutely kicking the Bears around the park, 23-7. Boys, where would you like to start? Um, about that Friday game. Yeah, I was about to say Friday night because I think there's a few talking points, and especially around Definitely a controversial result, especially around one player. I think <laughs> I'm guessing everyone's favourite player. Number. I call him Shoulder Boy because that's what he's known for. I call him half decent Mank Wigan person. Okay, call him. You can't call it. This is a first name basis, Murray. First name basis. First name basis. Must be good friends (laughs) with Mr. Farrell. Yes. Um, Yeah. It was a weird game. It was a great game. Quality game. But with like five minutes to go, the quality of the game just kind of left by because of one man. So if you don't know Owen Farrell, doing what Owen Farrell does. Quite clearly, was it Ruin Ackerman he clocked in the head? Yeah, I think so. so. First of all, that's a stupid thing. Big South African, big angry man. Anyway, quite clearly, didn't dip. Shoulder, straight to the head. Was not even checked. It should have been a red, let alone just looked at. Should have been a card, at least. Oh, yeah. I I mean, Murray, do you have an opinion on yellow, red? I think you said red, did you not? I think it was a red, just because he didn't dip, he didn't wrap, he just ran shoulder first. And it was, like, right in the jaw as well. It wasn't, like, this awkward grey area. Yeah. It I, was full on in the face. I think from, my like, my first angle I saw, I thought it was a yellow. Um, but when I when I kind of I, I saw a bit more angles, delved into a bit of analysis, it's, it's a red. I'm sorry. Yeah. No matter sort of what the call, the fact it really wasn't looked at, it does sort of bring into that conversation of consistency throughout the officiating in the game. Like, that could have been called uh, by another ref, uh, and I'm not having a dig at the officiating staff of the game, but by another ref, that could have been called a red, and that would have completely changed the game. What I don't get 
and I'm glad you mentioned the word consistency because obviously it's the same game, so it's the same official. Alex Good got yellow carded about five minutes, ten minutes beforehand for essentially just standing in the way of Sani Carreras. He's blocking, wasn't it? Yeah, he was blocking. So something as simple as blocking gets dealt with. Ripping somebody's head off should get dealt with as well. And to make matters worse, Owen Farrell only went and gone and slot, slotted on. Love, I will give it a, a lovely 45. It was good. Drop goal yeah, incredible. It was, it was a bit good. wobbly. It was a bit wobbly, but it went... Oh, it come went. on, Cam. You, know, you, you, you can't get everything perfect. No, I'm not giving him anything. <laughs> um, but no, I think it does need to be. It does need to be decided whether head contact, any head contact, is a card, or then it needs to be discussed what, uh, you know, what results in a yellow, what results in a red, and it needs to be sort of sorted out. I, I also think if we're if we're just talking it now is you know how do we then describe what needs to go to review. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, is it, where, should it always be the the referee has to call um, whether it goes to review or do you implement kind of a football type system where it's you know I think you should take a look at this. Well, that's what they are supposedly going to try do this year is speed up the game and have more of these TMO checks consistently in the background rather than stopping the game and looking at it on the big screen. Well, the TMO shouted like there's been a. Slightly, like, like, is there any dangerous play here? And the ref shouted back with, "Was it in the same phase I've just gave a penalty for?" That doesn't. What does that matter? Yeah. Anyway, I want to talk about another thing quickly. But in that game, from Maro Toji's cousin Ollie Thorley. Yes, he is his cousin. I found that out, and I don't know how to deal with that. But okay, he is. Anyway, beautiful try, and nice to see him back on the score sheet. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about Newcastle? And oh, especially yes. I, will, I will talk about Newcastle, but I think we only have to talk about one man here, Mateo yes. Carreras. Mateo, oh, we oh, always God. end up talking about him oh. when we talk about Newcastle. I, I, the man is the man is incredible. Like it almost just seemed every single every single try he scored was just a clean break. The yeah, the less the defense he. he <laughs> even have to fend him off that he just moved them out of the way like using the force or something it wasn't even a hat trick over the full game it was a hat trick in the first half no 100% I think it's disappointing he didn't score any in the second if I'm brutally honest but every, every, every try tried to one up himself because the first one was just quick hands in the corner nice second one he ran it about 15 metres in third one he said hold my beer watch this interception gone Thanks, and he was bro. like no I think Harry Potter bless him Tried to get catch him, but no, you're not. Yeah, catching. I couldn't, c- couldn't use his magic that time. No, I was just about to say yeah, the magic yeah, spells yeah. weren't working. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, I have to get at least one awful joke in. But um, Leicester, in terms of previous champions and whatnot, obviously they've essentially lost a head and an assistant coach. Yeah, they, they got done. They've yeah. got done in, but the whole season they've been up and down. And then this, it's tough. It's tough. I, I mean, look, if we look at the table now, I mean, Leicester stand seventh. Yeah. If you told me that they would sort of be in this position, I would have, I would have hit you. I think, <laughs> you, know, you know, if we're looking, if we're looking at the top four now, we've got Saracens, Sale, Quins, and Chiefs. Yeah. Um, I would have expected, you know, maybe Saracens and Quinn stay, but I would have expected Tigers to be in there as well. Yeah, you kind of start going like old school and you start thinking of top fours. And then... Exactly. And, and, you know, reigning champions, they got some half decent additions over, over, over the summer. Um, Anthony Watson, who I've rated quite highly um, before, um, I thought he might add another dimension into that. Um, especially, did they lose the money in the Dolo? He's. He's finished now, but he's not started at his new club yet because he's in Super Rugby. Yeah, but uh, anyway, they you know he adds a, he adds kind of a similar play to him anyway. A big, fast, a big fast winger who adds a bit more physicality. Probably not yeah. the same amount as Namani, but um, <laughs> but he's he's still a bigger boy. Um, but I mean, you know, it, it's worrying signs for, for for Tigers anyway. How many rounds are left in the Premiership? Um, there will be, I don't know, a few. One, two. 
Because yeah, I mean, there's only there's only a two point uh, two point difference between uh, nine nine rounds, nine rounds. Uh, yeah. So there's still time. Uh, there's only a two point difference between seventh and third. So exactly, freakishly tight. Yeah, very tight. Should we just talk, quickly talk about London Irish just absolutely thumping the Bears? You got to give them a bit of credit, don't you? I mean, again, Bristol, another team who you would have expected at the start of the season with signings and previous seasons form and whatnot, you would have thought Bristol I, should I be don't know where, I don't know where Bristol are going because it, 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 it looks shaky. You know, obviously they were, you know, almost knocking on the door of a, of a premiership title, which would have been incredible for where they were about five years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now it, it, it's, it's looking pretty sombre. It's it's been it's just been another one of those seasons which has been uh, they've had a few wins here and there but they've never been they've just not been able to get the ball rolling whatsoever. No, of course. I mean, you know, if you look at their lineup, they're returning to. I believe they've had injury problems. They're you know, they're looking to return to full fitness. Obviously, next season they've got the addition of Max Malins, who would be incredible. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, I'd say they've returned to. To where they were, not to the same extent, maybe, but in a couple of seasons' time, we don't know. I mean, as we can see with with the likes of Leicester, a lot can change in a season. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway, um, shall we do some predictions for next? Oh no, not next week because we've got something on next week. Never mind, ignore that. We'll, exactly. move, on the, we'll move on to the URC because yes. again, we love the URC. So Friday night, Bulls beating the Dragons twenty nine fourteen at Rodney Parade. Monster thumping the Lions at Musgrave yeah. Park, 33 points to three. Going on to the Saturday, Benetton stunning the world, beating All-Star, 31-29 at the Dam. Edinburgh squeaking past Zebra, 24-17. Scarlet's, as you can all see, we've all got Scarlet's top oh, yeah. one. Is this the there. first time we're all matching jerseys? Yes. Let, let's not make this a common. Let's not make this a common theme. I don't like it now. <laughs> it was it was cute and fun to begin with, and it's just coming sadder by the minute. Anyway, Scarlett's got a big Welsh Derby win over Cardiff, twenty eight twenty two. Connor, sorry, Cam, beating Sharks twenty four twelve at the Sports Ground. Winster doing what Winster does and squeaking a win against the Ospreys, twenty four nineteen, and on to Sunday. Glasgow leaving it late to beat the defending URC champions, the Stormers, 24-17. Shall okay. we start with Monster Ulster because uh, Monster Lions, sorry, because just yeah, I, 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 I think I think one man's been on everyone's lips when it's come to Monster, and that's Ben Healy. Yeah, uh, he's one of us now. He is he is moving to the the the, the more sorrier capital of the UK. Um, <laughs> um, but paid a half decent game, I'd say. You know, um, you know, he's an outgoing, he's outgoing for 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 Monster now. And have Monster missed a trick by by letting him go? I don't know. I got asked this the other day when it all kind of came out that Edinburgh signed him, and I was like, you know, like, oh, what do you think? Well, I'm an Edinburgh fan, so I'm loving it. I'm all for it. But like, because Graham Roundtree missed a trick because you've got Joey Carberry, you've got Jack Crawley, and Ben Healy. All fantastic pens. One of them is, and obviously it is Ben. Unfortunately, one's not going to get game time, and one's going to get annoyed and leave. It's, That's it, it, how it works. It's unfortunate because I think you know, spotlight has been on on Joey Carberry for for many seasons, and yeah. you know, whether he's kind of disappointing expectations a little bit now is 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 a shame. Obviously, he's had injury problems, you know, for the last few years, but. Um, Jack Crawley as well has been absolutely incredible when he has played. Ben Healy's kind of been a bright future, but do you not want to build it off both Jack and Ben, and maybe like Joey? I know it sounds might be controversial. Maybe like Um, Joey. I I, I still still think Joey's got. I still think Joey's got got a long way to go. I just think it's. I think it's injury that's been holding him back. A fully fit Joey might be might be dangerous once again. So. I mean, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because nobody's getting picked over Sexton. And that's just the way the world works. Well, no, well, I mean, you know, listen, he's, he is, we've come to the year of his retirement. It is. It's, it's coming to, oh, it's coming to the point where Ireland have to start looking for 
No, you know, listen, they're going the to they're going to have to, you know, have a little think. I mean, I remember O'Driscoll being like, oh, I'll retire after the Six Nations. And they won it. And it was coming up to the Lions. So he was like, no, no, I'll stay. And it's right, I'm, af- I'm done after that. I think at this point, we just, we just have to force Sexton out. He's been here too long. Just, just... <laughs> he's, he's, he's too good. Get rid of him. He's overstayed his welcome. Fair enough. But yeah, monster running rough up. I don't know why they're at Musgrave Park. Is Thurman getting like re- renovated or? Well, I, it might be another Ed Sheeran problem at this point. I mean, we we honestly don't. Know. Ed Sheeran, Christ, he honestly Munster's number one enemy. <sighs> Bloody <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> uh, Yeah, a bit of a disappointing game for the Lions, but yeah, Munster just played the conditions better and were by far the better team on the night. I'm going to leave the next game up to you boys because you keep saying that they're the greatest team. In the world, they, well, clearly they are. Well, I, 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 Cam, we have to we have to talk about our boys because how you know what a game? What? For, yeah, for a game. <laughs> what a game! I think so many people have been caught up in you know you know uh, Ulster are uh, you know a, a, a sleeping dragon or whatever they call it. Um, sleeping giant. Sleeping giant. There you go. Sleeping giant. Um, <laughs> So I don't know. I just thought, well, um, anyway, um, yeah, they're, you know, they're a sleeping giant. You know, when are they going to, when are they going to hit it? And are they a URC title contender? Of course they are. They have been they doing. Are, um, honestly, if Benetton make it to the playoffs, you can see them in, you know, yes, they've had up and down season, but you can see them beating anybody. The Benetton are currently six. Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're in the playoffs. We've got. Right so the current top eight as of recording. Leinster, obviously, Stormers, Bulls, Ulster, Glasgow Warriors, Benetton, Munster, Edinburgh. And then I think, if I'm corrected, if that stays the way it is, it's like first versus eighth, second versus seventh, da 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 da, da. Which means fucking Edinburgh's got to get their finger out and not go to the RDS, because I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the RDS is a fortress, as I've learned. So, uh... Uh, one player I will say who was on fire, Albinoz. Absolutely control the game for Benetton. He's been he's been looking good, but in this game he stepped up, and I think he was key to Benetton winning. I Ulster, mean, Ulster, however, what's happening to them? Because they have been on a slow downward spiral. I'd say. Well, I, 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 five games without one down. Is it? Yeah. Five, yeah, I think five games. Five, yeah. Wait, let me the, let me have a look at Ulster's. Uh, no, no, listen, listen, listen. They beat Connor. They did beat Connor. So they've, they've lost to the Benetton, lost, lost to Munster. Beat and then last in 2022, they uh, beat Connor, um 22 to 20. This was like five out, but five out of six. It's, it's their third loss on the bounce. Third, right. But but still, it, it, it it's concerning. It is. Well, actually, it's not for me. No, I love to see it. Not at all. No, no. For them, yeah. If you're an Ulster fan, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Yeah, have it, have it. But yeah. for us Benetton fans, it's brilliant to see. <laughs> <laughs> for, all, for all five Benetton fans, it's great. But yeah, to oh, put respect right on Benetton's name. They don't sell out their own grounds, so no. I don't care. They beat Ulster. That's fine. Anyway. Cam, what just quickly? What happened to the Sharks? Just briefly. Ah, I mean, listen, it's it's a tough one where we have to we have to build depth um, because right now we're completely reliant on our starting twenty three. We're completely reliant on the big names, and we need to be able to rely on those second, those third, those fourth choice players. Um, unfortunately, it's a necessary evil. Uh, we've dropped a few games. Um, listen, Connick were brilliant. They played the game better. A lot like Munster versus Lions, they played the conditions better. Just the better team. We were definitely robbed a try, might I say. Completely um, robbed a try. Um, That's all down, but I won't go any further because we <laughs> lost and we lost fair and square. Nothing will change that. But listen, I think in the long run, it'll build us depth. In the short run, We've got to catch up and finish in the, that top eight to make the playoffs. That's I don't care where we finish. I just want to finish for the playoffs. I, I'm glad you mentioned the word depth because Edinburgh's depth definitely had it to... Got tested. It, it got did tested. Get tested. 
a lot of young lads. I mean, I've messaged it to you earlier, Cam. Like, I sent you the team sheet, and it was like third choice, first choice back from injury, fourth choice. Sixth, like some sixth choices, choices in there. Yeah, we had a sixth choice wing that scored, so that was fun. But, yeah, I mean, it was a good game. Carter loved it, which is the main thing. And, yeah. But, lads, we now have predictions to go on because next week we're back on intercontinental games because South Africa is in it. So, oh, you, you, you don't have to put it like that, man. No, it's intercontinental now. Anyway, Challenge and Champions Cup is back next week. We're going to start with the Challenge Cup because... We care a bit less about that. My favourite. It's no good. Game one. Scarlets versus the Cheetahs. I mean, if if I mean we kind of have to. <laughs> I, I, listen, I don't even think it'll be close. I think the Cheetahs, I think the Cheetahs be absolutely run uh run away. I see what you did there because Cheetahs are fast and they're running. You know, I didn't, yeah, that, that was actually no pun intended there. So uh, fair <laughs> place to me. Um I think oh, it's, it's gotta be Scarlets by like 25. Yeah. I'll go Scarlet's by 20, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably say similar. I'll say Scarlet's by fuck it, 30. Oh my God. I mean, uh, cheetahs aren't impressing me. Cheetahs aren't impressing me. I know. We've got a game that I don't think any of us particularly care about. We've got. I've got a Poe jersey now. All right. Maybe Cam cares, but Poe <laughs> versus Dragons in France. Go on, Dragons. Go for it. Because I can't name one Poe player. So. Um, That's my only reason. So, Dragons by nine, nice away win. There you go. I, I, I think from what you know, I, I, th- I think both are coming in on, on fairly poor form. Uh, Dragons have lost four of the lot, uh, lost uh, four of their last five. The other one being a draw, um, and um, Powell have lost um, three of their last five as well. One of them also being a draw. So. They love draws. Make that, that draw. By that Both. point, uh, Powell could actually do it. And the last time they did meet, Powell won. I'm going to go Powell by three. Okay. Bang. I'm, I'm going to take it. Oh, 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 boy, say, Sam Costello, it's going to be it's going to be Powell. I, I'm I'm going to take the hit and I'm going to say a draw. Boo! Comes <laughs> on next week. It's like Murray's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I, but it's what you said, like. Last time you were on hard, it's just the most anticlimactic result. It, you know? it, it, it is. I mean, it, it, it depends what kind of draw. If we're talking England Scotland 2019, that's, that's not the, that's a climactic draw. If we're talking England, if we're talking New, England All Blacks, England All Blacks 2022. Marcus, I love you, but what the fuck were you thinking? Um, no, I mean, I mean, like proper low scoring nine all draw. Oh Three man, all, it, 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 all the best it, score. Do you do we not remember that one year? I'm sorry, this is so off track. Do we not remember that one year where it was like Leinster three Zebra nil? Yes, they, they went right. to Italy. They went to Italy. Sorry, and so football. It was so like so oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, hit, hit us with more scores. Come on, start from say against the Lions. Um, this is this is actually interesting, but I'm gonna go start from say by twelve. Ooh. Last um, time it was a belter of a game. And by that, I'm going to say, I'm going to back the Lions. I have a soft spot for them. I'm going to say Lions by Paris. seven. It's in Paris, which makes me want to like think that... Yeah. That will get pe- some people say Johannesburg is the Paris of South Africa. I don't see much difference. It's not. <laughs> Who the fuck says that? <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're I've heard it down the pipeline. I've heard it down the pipeline. We're doing really well without swearing that episode, and then Cam comes up with that. Listen, <laughs> we're, we're, we're kid friendly when we have to be. And for that, I'm back in Stad Francais. Just for that sentence alone, I'm back in Stad Francais. Stad, but Stad are good, man. They're they're gonna by, win it by ten. Ooh. Benetton hosts Bayon. Oh, that's easy. Benetton by fifty. Fifty. <laughs> No, yeah. I'm better to, better to by twenty or twenty five. I'll say you know I'll say twenty three. I'll meet. I'll go halfway then. I'll say thirty just to be. Benetton are going to shock the world. Oh, Benetton are going to somehow win the Champions Cup from this season. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to win the URC. They're going to win the Champions Cup. Cup. Get promoted and then win the Champions Cup next year. And then they and then they somehow get like a test with the All Blacks and win that. <laughs> Please. Please. Stranger things have happened. I don't think they have anyway. Um, Bath host to one. You know Ooh. what? I think about like quite a few years ago, this would be like one of the tastiest matches. Yeah, no, it's no, it's like, no. However, it's not now. Um, but I'm gonna. I want to say Toulon, and I'm gonna say Toulon by fifteen. Ouch! Mm. You don't. I don't know what Bath did to you, but we will find no, out. No, no, I, I've not got a thing for Bath. I, I genuinely do think that that Toulon mm. are just the better team. Fair enough. I'd like to see Bath do it. I feel like they deserve it. It's 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 at the wreck, which is uh, not the easiest ground to play at. I'm but pretty again, sure Toulon just lost to Breathe in the top fourteen. So oh, they did. Bath, 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 Toulon, Bath. Toulon did win by twenty two last time out against Bath. That was in, that was in Toulon. Yeah, but I'm going to say fifteen because I still think. Can you, can you do it on a cold, wet night in Bath? Probably, but I'm going to go Bath by five. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna back Bath. I'm gonna say by ten. Nice. Connacht versus Breve at the sports ground. I think it's got it's it's got to be like Connacht by eighteen. Oh, I genuinely I I do think Breve are, are are absolute horseshit and like you know obviously they just beat too long but we should get Zebra versus Breve for the battle of absolute meh. The, they get relegated to like well, whatever the, the 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 big European league is with like Israel and stuff and Germany and stuff like that. They get they get relegated to my local schools cup, <laughs> 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 and then they then they get relegated again. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say I think Connor pull a, a stunner of a game. I'm gonna say Connor by twenty plus. Yeah, that's fair. Zebra versus Bristol. Zebra, no, um, it's got to be, it's got to be Bristol. I don't, I'm back in, I'm back in Zebra. No, 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 Cam, 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 you can only take it so far. Zebra, no, I'm back in Zebra. Zebra have lost, I, how many on the balance now? You know what, I don't even, I can't even count this Seven match. Teams. Last time they won a game was April. They've lost 17 on the bounce. Yeah, against the, the powerhouse that is the Dragons. They yeah they won against the Dragons. I, I think Bristol are a bit unfortunate. I think I think it's got to be Bristol by thirty, man. I think Listen, it's going to be Zebra are going to win at some point. So if I just keep predicting them to win at some point, I'm going to be right, mate. Just plead the fifth. Don't predict them, and they will win. <laughs> Zebra by seven points. Bristol by thirty. A, a try from Bruno to set <laughs> Zebra ahead. On the 79th minute. But they win by 7-0. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is Murray's like, worst nightmare. Bristol by 16. Oh. oh, God. Perpignan host Glasgow Warriors. Glasgow have been in top form lately. To be fair, they have won six from this, six from six last... Mm. So, uh, and I think Perpignan are on a bit of a... Yeah, they're on a six-game losing streak as well. How fitting. <laughs> um, last time they met, Glasgow... Glasgow only won by eight. I still think Glasgow's going to do it. I I'm, think... You know, I might just say eight, eight again. I know it's in Perpignan, but I'll say eight again. Glasgow I'll are the... the Pre, uh, previous results, Glasgow are the superior Scottish team, and you would think the best team in a certain country would beat Perpignan. So, yeah, you're definitely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Glasgow by. Let's all say eight. I don't think Murray's gonna say eight. Well, so, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's all wear Scarlet tops and let's all say Glasgow won by eight. How cute is that? Yay. Anyway, we are on to the big fixtures next whoa, week. Whoa, 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 you missed, missed one. It. You I missed did one. miss one. Sunday, Cardiff Sunday. versus Newcastle. I what miss a one. game! Cardiff by six. 
was it last time? Cardiff absolutely trampled Newcastle. Okay, Cardiff by 26 then. Fuck you. <laughs> No, um, Cardiff, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to say Cardiff by, like, 35. <laughs> I've induced Actually, no, rage you know in Murray. After, after last week's performance, oh, uh, sorry, this week's performance, I'm going to go Cardiff by five. How was that? Oh, that's fine, hard, but how that's any different to what I was saying. But M- Mateo Carreras is going to absolutely, like... Yeah, Mateo Carreras a hat-trick in both halves. And and Newcastle by ten. Yeah, but they still won't win. Cardiff, Cardiff are just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on, go yeah. on to the big boys. On to the champions. We start off strong. At Harves favorite stadium at the Stade Marshall the game. Claremont hosting Leicester Tigers. I feel like I've seen this game too many times in recent years. I, I swear they were both pipped against each other around the sixteen last year. They love a group stage. Uh, yeah, I, listen. Leicester's recent form, the one of the greatest atmospheric rugby stadiums in the world. Claremont, easy, yeah. mate. Claremont by by twenty three. Oh my no god! Disrespect to Leicester, but Claremont is you know. I mean, if Newcastle can do it, listen. When <laughs> what's it called? When um, when Quinns went over there about four years ago. I, you know, obviously I wasn't there, but I could just hear the crowd just booming through the TV and I was like, no, we're, we're, we're finished. Yeah. We are absolutely finished. Oh, I think Leicester are going to, they're going to take an actual shot. Claremont by, I'll be a bit more kind to Leicester. I'm going to say by 13. Okay. I'll be a little less kind to Leicester. I'll say by 19. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sale Sharks versus Toulouse. Now, bear in mind, Toulouse just got absolutely thumped in the league. By La Rochelle. Ah. That was an awful accent, mate. <laughs> um, that one, that uh, one proper little, because you could do better right now. Like I, you know what? <laughs> this game could actually be fairly tasty, I reckon. It should be. The way both teams are going. Um, Stad, Stad fairly like, ripped them apart kind of last time, um, last time out, but I don't know. I'd say it'd be closer. I'm going to go Stad by six. That's fair. Cam? Um, I'll, I'll back the the worst Sharks and I'll <laughs> say Sail by Sail by 13. I'll go I'll go Sail Sharks by five. First. Yeah. Gloucester at home to Leinster. Now, no, all to make this game better as opposed to the last game is Gloucester have to score because that was embarrassing at Dublin. Right, it's yeah. going to be uh, they, Gloucester are going to score a try. Well, just score. Still, okay. Any score. They're going to score points, but they're still going to lose by 30 plus. But, if um, Gloucester don't play literal children, like the ones they sent to the RDS, yes. um, I think I think it could be closer, and I think it could be Leinster by 20 this time. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, like an insult. Every... Can we just, like, at every Gloucester fan on <laughs> listen to I'm this gonna, episode? Say, I'll say Leinster by 12, <laughs> but I would absolutely love to see Gloucester win it. Just because every undefeated streak has to end eventually, so I, I I don't think I don't think that will be the biggest shock of 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 the world if 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 Gloucester beat Leinster. Not home. I really. reckon Johnny Sexton will slot a drop goal in the last dying minutes after not being sent off for a high tackle. A last minute drop, a last minute drop goal that puts them up by forty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just think of it. Um, sharks, Cam's favourite sharks. Are at home to Bordeaux. And we're playing our big boys. I don't think you can look past Sharks, if I'm brutally honest. Yeah. I, I, I like all, all respect to Bordeaux because they, they gave him a real, what's it called? They oh, gave him a game real last time. Yeah, fair enough to time. Them. But I'd say South African Heat, whatever. Yeah. I'd say the Sharks got the upper hand here. I, I'm, I'm saying Sharks by 12. That's fair. Yeah, I got to oh. back the boys. We should be playing our, our strongest team. Um, I'm gonna say 
Sharks by 15. I'm going to say Sharks by 19, just because I think South African heat, you're just going to run away with it. So, Durban yeah. as well is humid, it's, it's sticky. Oh, that's a h- horrible description. It is, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> sticky, that's up there with moist. It's PG, a sticky PG, place. PG. Anyway, the Bulls are at home to my beloved Exeter Chiefs. And, and, I'm, I don't... and I'm sorry, Murray. But yeah. I think it's going to be the Bulls. It's going to be the Bulls. Um, it's going to be the Bulls by by five. Okay. Exeter will run them close it, again. South African, you know, they're not they. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be hot. It's going to be. It's, not, it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be not very nice. Oh. It, it all depends on how Jake White is feeling because if he's still under the delusion that he can compete in the Champions Cup with again a bunch of literal children, um, there's going to be Exeter. But I reckon he'll play a stronger team at home, and I think it's going to be Bulls by twelve. Oh, listen, you know they they went on a three match losing streak before beating Dragon, so I think if they want to get it back on track, then they want to they want to at least put a, put a decent word in to their mm-hmm. selectors. And I'm following the podcast rule of back your team. So I'm going to say Chiefs by six. Are you lying to yourself? Hmm? (laughs) What? (laughs) Let's let's move on. I said that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's not what you said. You're lying. Did we miss Munster versus Saints? Yes, we did. Munster by ten. There you go. Quick and... Um, yeah, uh, Thoman Park is it's a bit of a European. Um, I didn't see it was Thoman Park seventeen. European European fortress, uh, Munster by eighteen. Nice. M- M- Munster by one. One. What did they do to you? Tammy, are you silly? Are you okay? Oh, I'm it's in... like Malcolm Marks. He's pissed off. Ah, yeah. Yeah. They keep taking our players. Them Irish. I better not say the next word. No. We gone good with Irish. Behave. Anyway, Stad. Stad. I was going to say it in French, sir. La Rochelle, defending champions, take on Ulster. This La is going to be nice and easy for La Rochelle. La Rochelle <laughs> by no. Uh, no. Well, it is going to be La Rochelle, but I think it's going to be like uh, twenty. La Rochelle by 30. nineteen. Nineteen to be nice to Ulster. By yeah, 30. La Rochelle. They're no Benetton, but La Rochelle by fifteen. Lara Shell by 32. I'm good. <laughs> That's million. Go, go for it. Saracens host Leon. Right, Leon by 50. Yes! Yes! Yeah. In fact, I think Leon by a record score of 200 nil. They beat they beat all black Japan in like 99 or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> 142 nil. Yeah, we'll go with 143 nil to Leon. <laughs> Fine, I'm, I'll take that. Ospreys post Montpellier. Ospreys. I've got back the Ospreys. No, nah, come on, man. I, I... They beat Montpellier away last time. They did? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Montpellier made me want to, like, you know, they won't make me want to believe. Um, Montpellier by three. I'm going to go Ospreys by three. Five. I've got nothing against the Ospreys. I do like the Ospreys, but Montpellier by. I'm going to say Alan Wynne Jones in a single handed effort by 13 points. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Wynne Jones kicks the winning drop goal. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what are these predictions? Anyway, um, yeah, that's fine. Cast versus Edinburgh. Cast, um, no. Um, to be fair, I do think it will be Edinburgh, unfortunately. Um, that's like it's a bad thing. Well, listen, I, I think they're both coming in with fairly shaky form. Cast probably worst. Uh, worst, sorry. Um, I'm going to go Edinburgh by 14. Ooh. I'll say Edinburgh by five. And we've got a full house. I'm going to go Edinburgh Ooh. by nine. Interesting. Yeah. Uh-huh. We've then got London Irish hosting the Stormers. That's going to be such a good game. I, honestly, I can't believe, like, I couldn't imagine, like, 
the South, like you know, the the URC champions, the big South African team playing at Brentford. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's got nothing to do with my, you know, my my footballing hatred, but you know, it just doesn't. It, it won't look right, in my opinion. Stephen Kitsoff is going to be at Brentford. That's mass mental, man. <laughs> In which case, I do want to say it'll be London Irish um, by, uh, you know what, you know, proper London Irish, yeah, I hate to say this, proper London Irish standard, I'm going to go draw. No, stop it. No, listen, listen, listen. London Irish, they love the draws. I know, but don't, don't pay it because it happens. Um, Yeah, London London Irish by three. Stormers by ten. Boo. Boo. Last game, Rasa 92 host Quinns. Can it please be champagne rugby this time? Right. I'm, I'm just going to say this now. We're, we're both coming in with, with fairly awful form, but to be fair, the last game we did play, the last win we had was against these lot. And it was <sighs> shit. Boring as hell. I'm going to say Quinns <coughs> by seven. Yeah, I'll back the kin- uh, Quins as well. I'm going to say Quins by... Rassing have come in very shaky. Very I'm, shaky. I want Rassing to do something, so I'm going to say Rassing by four. That's not going to be pretty. Me, me and Murray are now not speaking next weekend. Um, <laughs> so... So wait a minute. So you're going to speak to Cam, and Cam's going to speak to you, and I can speak to you. No, wait, because Cam's annoyed me tonight, and I've annoyed you. Yeah, so... so... Just, I just, think we need to take a him, break. It's the, it'll be Kevin Harvey episode. No, I'm joking. We <laughs> wow. Need you, man. We need you. Right. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's our first episode of the year. Harvey. Sorted. Nice and easy. The girls already kind of beat us to the punch. They're already back. They came out on Sunday with Sail Sharks Holly Bowden. Love that. Great episode. We're out this week and uh, coming out we've got our first interview this week with Edinburgh's Charlie Savala very, lucky, very excited for that we've already got guests coming out of our ears I've already booked three absolutely killing it for the new year just, that's just mental but yeah it's been the Rugby Connection podcast like, share, comment subscribe to the channels listen to us on Spotify watch us on YouTube get the little notification bell ringing so you can get first dibs on the latest episodes like this one the girls or the interviews that we do and we'll see you next week to talk about European rugby 